Here we have Pat again, 85 NW, right? Yes, yes and uh, he, you, you saw him earlier. And he is the proud owner of a what? This is a Flex Radio Systems Flex 3000 software defined radio. Flex that 3000. Is, is the brand spanking new toy to grace the ham shack, and we're breaking it in here nice and good on field. Now you say to grace the ham shack, your ham shack, right? My ham shack, there yes. you go. I mean, I, I can't take this home. No, you can't. <laughs> You, you, All right. You could try, but you, you might not make it to the door. So. Okay. <laughs> Basically, what we've got here is the transceiver is this box right here, mm -hmm. and it is connected in with this uh, computer tower down here into the hard drive. Is that correct? Or I mean, yeah, it goes I mean, actually the to the video card. The, the yeah, the, the the two monitors here run a dual monitors off the video card back there. Okay. And uh, right now we've got the, the the pan adapter and waterfall and, and the actual SDR software up on this monitor. Okay. And the uh, and the auto tuner information and voltage and temperature over here. And uh, the main reason for two monitors is I've got another program that I can launch and run called uh, DM780, which is a digital master 780. It's part of the Ham Radio Deluxe Suite, which for the moment is free. But I'm sure, it ladies and gentlemen, you're all getting this. <laughs> it, all right, let's get back to some more basics here. What is this stuff on the ground over here? That looks like a giant power supply under there. That is a giant power supply back there. Now, what is it supplying power to? Uh, to the flex. It, it's, oh, it, it's overkill. But, it certainly is. But yeah. that was free. So free goes along. Well, it's just 120 volts. I mean, what, you're just using that for what? Stabilizing this mess here? Well, it, it's... Uh, it, it, <laughs> We're on generator power outside right now. Oh, I see. Okay. Which is fed into these UPSs here, which have their own uh, battery supply to back them up in case there should be a hiccup with the, You're talking about with this the generator. Stuff here? Okay. Yep, yeah. We've got two of right. these and, uh, and two hard, large batteries off to the side there, or larger. Well, why are you running generator power? Why not just plug it in the wall? Well, uh, for field day, you can be classified as, oh, a, as oh, a 2E oh, yeah. or yes, a 2F yes, or a yes, 2A. Yes. And okay. we're a two alpha because we're on alternate off the grid power, and we get extra points for that. Okay. What he's saying here now is this is field day, and we are out in the field supposedly. Just because we're in a building doesn't matter. We are supposedly out in the bush, and we are running off generator power to see if we can do it. And we are given extra points as a club for doing such. Correct. Correct. Okay. Now show us what we have right here. Well, uh, let me get it tuned in. This here. is something. I'll make it very, very basic now. Uh, now he's going to be talking to you about the waterfall. That's this mess falling down here, right? Yep. And each of this red stuff shows you where someone is carrying on a conversation, correct? Yep. This this section right here, uh, this is where what's called PSK31 lives. And what this program on this side is doing is this little section of the waterfall that you see over here has been expanded out All right. full width okay. over here. And each Understand. one of these little tracks that you see is a, uh, is a, is a digital uh, QSO that's taken uh, place. Some of this could be Morse code, right? Uh, no, this is all PSK31 oh, okay. right here. okay, PSK31. Uh, Morse code lives down in this area here where all these... Now, what is PSK? Uh, phase shift keen uh, 31 baud, if I remember correctly. It, okay. It's a form of digital uh, information swapping. Is that is that what's used with computers only? Is that what you're saying? Uh, it is a dig, it is a digital mode that you you can you can use with a PC if you want to. Some of the newer radios, like the uh, the Elecraft KX3, which has come out, will do this natively. It has a pair of CW uh, an optional CW paddle, and if you can hammer out Morse code by paddle, it instantly converts it into PSK31 and shoves it out the antenna. So it's pretty slick. Are you getting all this, my YouTube guys? <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Your, your YouTube is, crowd should this, understand. I reserve the right to be speaking from my speech. Yes, so. you do. That's right. He's very, Pat's very knowledgeable, and you know I'm a I'm a tube HW 101 Heath Kit guy. You know Hot Water 101. Yes, sir. And uh, and uh, but that's all right. He's also a Sugar Baby 101 owner too, right? Or is it 102? Actually, believe it or not, sure. I, I have given the SB 101 back to its owner. Oh, you did. Now that I have it, that was on extended loan up until oh. I got my own. Did radio. you get it working fairly good? Or? Yeah, sure okay, did. Cool. I love that radio. I, I, I ran it for almost three years. Wow. And, uh, it is good radio. Well, that's cool. Well, that's all. I just wanted everyone to see what the Flex 3000 is now. One last question. Mm -hmm. 
they're up to the Flex 6000 now, right? Uh, it's like the 6000 series, I think. We just got back from Dayton about a month ago. Dayton, Ohio was where the Hamvention yeah. was. Yes, they called sir. it the Hamvention. Yeah. Biggest one in the United States once a year, right? Uh, well, it's actually an international event. There were people from all over the planet Ooh, there. Ooh, cool. I mean, but, you know, the big mass comes in from the United States. When is it normally held up there? Uh, well, this year it was the... Do they change the dates? It shifts a little bit. Oh, okay. it, it's It's pretty close to the same time frame. Yeah. Um, but it, the dates may shift a couple of days, and I don't remember off the top of my head what next year is going to be. This year was... What, the weekend of the 28th? I've slept Whatever. since then. Yeah, and I, I, understand. You know, I reserve the right to be seen all Yeah, he knows time. flex only, and that's it. Now, that's his story, <laughs> and he's sticking to it, right? <laughs> but, they, they have, yeah, but they have a 6500 coming out, uh, Signature Series Radio, which what it does is it takes essentially the hardware that's in the PC down here and puts it back inside the shell of the radio, so you don't have to have an independent in, in this PC. thing here. Yeah. Okay, incidentally, one, I want everyone to understand here, <clears throat> what you're looking at is the future of ham radio. <laughs> Eventually, guys like me with the old tube rigs and all that other stuff, they're not going to be able to do much at all with it. You know, this is where it's going. This is where it already is for many, many ham radio guys, right? Can't stay stuck in the mud forever, right? That is true. There, yeah. there, there are some, you know, uh, you know, you know die, die hard, die in wool, uh, Computers have no place in the ham shack, folks. And hey, you know I respect that. That's perfectly a okay. And uh, and there are some folks that have always had a computer in the ham shack. Yeah. And yeah. and this is a, a and if you're one of those types that's into computers and you like that and you also like ham radio, my personal opinion anyway, this is a good marriage between the two. And uh, because a lot of the magic that would normally happen in your standard radio you know, when it leaves the assembly line, like say if you went out and you bought a, you know, a Yaesu 857D or maybe a TS2000 yeah. kit yeah. one, something like that, the state that that radio is in when you buy it, when it rolls off the yeah. assembly line, that's it for yeah. the most part. Yeah. You, know, you maybe can put in an extra filter or a small option board or something like that. With this... Now, there's there's still some radio goodness inside the shell, and the PA deck and all that good stuff lives in here, but this converts the, the RF spectrum into an IQ stream that is fed to the computer that this software just has a field day with. It goes in here, and you've got all sorts of filters and features and bells and whistles and good stuff that you can do, and then the people at Flex, when they come out with a new update, and uh, maybe a new mode, or they tweak the software to make the hardware work better. You can download that for free, and it's just a simple software update, and you have the latest and greatest features. You don't have to go buy a new chunk of hardware every time something new comes <laughs> I out. I think that's really cool. Well, anyway, for all you younger hams or guys thinking about becoming ham radios, and you're young, and you like computers, you know, there's the answer to all that uh, ham radio stuff that you want to be super, super technical. You like to play with keyboards and... This does have a knob. Show us the knob. Okay, we want yep. to see the knob. Here's For those the knob. That say there's right here. no knobs on this radio. <laughs> there is there is one knob. That's However, right. it's an option and you have to buy it. Oh, but, unreal. But you, you can have a knob with a flex radio. I accuse Pat's like radio. Control. I call it, uh, you know, out of sheer envy, I called it a fake radio because it didn't have any knobs. He said, uh uh uh, I have a knob. <laughs> okay, thanks, Pat. Yes, Appreciate sir. that. You betcha. Right. Pleasure.